back to another. But did we just? Wasn't it just? My, I could have sworn we just. It was just my. So, <laughs> I mean, for real. Anyway, we are having a special, special meal today. It's gonna go down completely because yeah, y'all see what's going on. And we also, I asked you guys. Well, a couple of you guys asked me to do a Q and A. I asked you guys in a community post to leave some questions and you did. So we're gonna get to those a little bit later on in the video. Right now, we're not gonna waste more time. We're gonna say our prayers and we're gonna get into this food. Lord, I thank you for this food that I'm about to receive and I ask that you make me nourishing for my body. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Also, don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, share with somebody, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified each and every single time I upload. Let's get into this food. We have some lobster tail, we have corn on the cob, we have four cheese uh, mash and uh, New York uh, strip. Yes. And I'm about to start with that New York strip. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I know, I know I'm not the only one that likes them. A1. I know people be like, but if the steak is good, you don't need no sauce, baby. You stay over there. <laughs> you stay over there. Okay. Let me do me. How y'all doing today on this lovely Monday? It's the beginning of a new week. It's the beginning of a new week. And Lord help us because I just do not want this to fall. I just want to eat. I just want to eat. Let me turn it around so you can better see it. So tender though, and it's near no shade. I tried to get it medium well, but listen, I'm not Darius Cooks. <laughs> And baby girl, mm, it's still good. I also have some butter, nothing special, just for my lobster tail. Mm. So good. y'all some plates so y'all can get in on this Let's just let's just eat. Let's just eat for a minute. Let's not do too much talking because we're gonna get into the talking later when I get these questions going. I didn't get a chance to really like look at them like that. I did take a glance at some. Y'all, y'all sending some 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 very decent questions. Very respectful, you know, from what I did see. We're gonna get into those. Y'all don't don't judge me thinking that my steak tough is not. I'm just trying not to make a mess I'm trying not to make a mess I don't want anything to fall over I 
ever. I'm gonna be very honest with y'all. I'm just about to pick this up and just terrorize it. Y'all yeah, mind. Mm. This for cheese mash is bomb. Mm -mm -mm. I'll get in. It's been a minute since I have meat a lobster tail. <clears throat> it's been a good old minute. Mm -mm. The aesthetic of today's mukbang ain't all that appealing, <laughs> but girl, y'all get the point. I really want to be fancy and cut into my steak. I don't want to just be barbaric, you know. <laughs> but girl, it's giving. You shake the table, you gonna gag. You are gonna come together like ass cheeks. like ass cheeks. I'm comfortable, I'm cozy, I'm having a great meal with my people. Hope that y'all eating something good with me. We are back on another Monday. <laughs> I just can't believe it. I'm just completely just baffled. I am so baffled. But did I not say, these weeks are going by so fast. Still. Steel child. <clears throat> Next time I do steak, 
the setup is gonna have to be completely different. The setup is gonna have to be totally different because I'm trying to get in now. Amazing. I was getting to some of these questions. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna call your name. It's just like a means of shouting you out because I, I appreciate you uh, for actually leaving your questions and stuff like that. I appreciate you so much. <clears throat> so this first question is from Didi. Hi, Didi. She says, can I ask you how old are you also you remind me of my youngest son you could be his twin oh well hello bb how are you <laughs> i appreciate that i am 34 i am 34 and i know you you got to think your son is like the flash little dude ever you know he got to be <laughs> thank you for your question um next question goes comes from 
Bridget Hall. She says, what do you like most about your job? I don't have to work for nobody. I can move when I want to move. <laughs> I can I can get up when I'm ready to get up. All of that stuff. Even though I'm always up early, you know, my mind is always on to the next thing. What can I do to make my content better? Or whatever the case is, you know, it's just it's all about my time because I I'm only good to work on my time. I can't I can't move when other people want me to move. I have to do everything on my own time. Yeah. So I guess to answer your question is just, I guess the freedom of it all, the freedom of it all. But in the same breath, you have to work in order to build, you know, just like a company, just like any business or anything like that. You have to work in order to build, to get to that place. And that's what we're doing. I hope I'm, I'm making y'all proud. <laughs> I'm, ho I'm hoping that I'm making you guys proud with that. So yes, that's what I like most about my job is the freedom of it all. And that is from Bridget Hall. Thank you, Bridget. Our next question comes from Kimberly Little. What's up, Kimberly Little? She says, what's up, Jacquez? I need some advice. Do you have any advice on how to get that someone special to move things to another level in the relationship without being in a hurry? What are some things you would do? What are some things you would do to plan a romantic evening for two, but baby, guess what? You came to the right place. Cause I'm hoping it's romantic, and that's all I know is romance, baby. That's all I know. So, okay, so let's let's just get to let's just get to your first question first. Um, do you have any advice on how to get that special someone to move things to another level in a relationship? Let me tell you something. You're never gonna get anywhere forcing anyone to do anything if they're not ready to make that move that ne take that next step on their own it's up to you ultimately if you're going to stay and wait <laughs> or if you're going to just move on from it but it seems like you're really interested in this person so i would say you know just you just practice patience my love it's all about being patient love is very patient and then when you're patient with love it's very kind you know so I would just say, just be patient with them. Um, and your second question is, what are some things you would do to plan a romantic evening for two? Well, what is it that your significant other likes? What is it? So, what is something that he may enjoy? He or she? I don't. I don't know. I'm, I'm not. I'm not here to assume anything. But you know, just think about what what is it that your significant other enjoys. Um, whether that be like a meal or a, a movie or I don't know if you're into gifting, um, something that they may like. It don't have to be anything major, you guys. That's the thing. That's the thing with today's time. Everybody just think they have to just go all completely out of their way and all of that stuff. No, it's like the little things, you guys. The little things are what really matters. And then on top of that, you're going to just showing the little things and they appreciative of those things. That lets you know right there, that's somebody that you might want to stick with. So, yeah, just, I mean, that's what I would do. I would just, maybe you've had a conversation with your partner and they brought up something that they wanted or something that they wanted to do or something like that. And it's just, you know, it's just their lingering. You might want to do something like that. Thank you, Kimberly Little. Okay, let me eat. And we get to some more questions. Mm -mm -mm. I've been in like a little humming mood. <laughs> so forgive me if I'm just so random today with my humming. And plus I've been working on some materials. So it's like melodies and all kinds of things just roaming around in my head. So yeah 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 that's it <laughs> mm, steak mm.
you know, this was nothing too heavy. It was just right. Ah, fuck it. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. <laughs> mm. Now, if you was going to take me on a day, who was that to ask that question? Can't believe you was going to take me on a day, Ma. I mean... You know what I like. <laughs> Food. Mm, mm, mm. A good old steak could do. Once I finished cooking that I wasn't going to be hungry. Y'all know how that goes. You be hungry and then you get to cook and it's like, okay, I've been in this kitchen with this food. I'm just not feeling it right now. But baby, I'm enjoying myself. Mm. Okay, let's do some more questions. I guess I got a few here. Um, this next question comes from Catherine Johnson. Hi, Catherine. Your question is, well, you say, hello, Jacquez. Hello. <laughs> Do you like soul food, neck bone, pig feet, collard greens, cornbread, sweet potatoes? If so, would you do a video? Would you do a video just asking them old school? <laughs> well... Anything but the pig feet. That's more like a lips type of situation. That's that's a lips ordeal over there. You know, I love my pop, but I don't know. I can't I'm, pig feet. I don't know. But what's crazy is I eat the hell out of some chitlins. But I just pig feet. It's the visual for me. It's the visual for me. But all the other stuff I do for you. I do for you. Yes, I'm a soul food eater. I am a soul food eater. Okay. Thank you, Katherine Johnson. I thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, okay, our next question comes from Amira Muhammad. She asks, when did you come back to YouTube? Well, I technically, I never left. It's just that you guys didn't want to see my vlogs. You didn't want to see me vlogging. I guess you didn't want to see me in a different light. I don't know. I was vlogging, but it was here and there. Um, when I was going back and forth from Chicago to Atlanta and all that stuff, I was doing a lot of blogging. Um, and yeah, but it was just very sparingly. So I know that you guys wanted to see the Mook Mind, so that's probably why you didn't know about the vlog and anything like that. But I really didn't, I didn't leave, I didn't go anywhere. It's just, it was very here and there. But now I'm back, baby, with the Mook Bond. I said, I'm back, baby, uh, with the Mook Bond. I said, I'm back, baby, uh, with the Mook Bond. I said, I'm back, baby. I said, I'm back, baby. I said, I'm back, baby, uh, with the Mook Bond. I said, I'm back, baby. Ooh. Could that be an intro? <laughs> I ain't got no cute intro or anything like that, but that shouldn't stop you from liking this video, leaving a comment, sharing with somebody, subscribing, and hitting that notification bell. Oh, period. Okay, so yeah, I didn't really go anywhere. I'm still here. Thank you, Amira. Next question comes from Crystal Stewart. Hi, Crystal. She says, hey, Ja, are you in a relationship? If so, what sex do you date, male or female? Where are you from, age, and how long you've been doing YouTube? I remember your other channel. I just love to see you eat corn, <laughs> lol. You're not the only one. <laughs> You're not the only one. <laughs> I appreciate that though. Uh, let's see. Okay, so you asked if I'm in a relationship. No, ma'am, I'm not. Mm -mm. As much as I would love to be in one, I really, I feel like every single time I get into a relationship, it takes me away from my focus, you know, which is 
having something for me. Like, I'm never hurting for anything. I'm not bothered. I'm not, and you know, none of that stuff. God has been great. He has been beyond great to me. Um, but everything that I want to do for myself, I always tend to give my all to someone else when I'm involved in things like that. So it's just like, I'm making a conscious decision to kind of just be focused on me right now. <clears throat> now, however, I'm open to it. <laughs> I just, I'm not looking for it. I'm open to it, but I'm not looking for it. If the right one come along, yeah. And then you say, if so, what sex, male or female? What you think, sis? What you think, sis? I am from Chicago. South side specifically, hey. South side specifically, hey. Um, my age, I'm 34. I'll be 35 in May, May 19th. And I know that some guys, some of you guys also asked if I had a P.O. box. Did you want to send me some stuff? Listen, I'm working on that. I've been saying I was going to get a P.O. box for the past year. And I definitely have to go and get one. Absolutely, I do. Um, so, yeah. Um, how long have I been doing YouTube? Well, if we want to get technical, I started YouTube a good seven years ago. But it was completely opposite of this. That was way before Mookbang took off you know that was way before mukbang took off i was doing other things i was pretending to like music and things like that because you know i'm a big music head i'm just crazy about music i love music all things music um but when i started to take uh youtube seriously was about three years ago yeah I've been collectively doing YouTube for a good seven years. Uh-huh. And seriously taking YouTube on as a career for the past three. So, yeah. Thank you for your, quest your question, Crystal Stewart. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, so M. Underwood. She asked, are you still friends with Alex? And when is your brother going to do the one chip challenge? Girl, y'all still remember that? He said that he was going to do the one chip challenge. And well, you know, everybody's just, everybody's all over the place. He has kids, he has work, and he has his boxing career going on and all that stuff. So it's just like, you know, whenever we do get time, it's really on the holiday specifically. Like that's the time that we have when we all get together and all that stuff. But I'm going to... I'm gonna give him a call up. I'm like, brother, they they wanna see you still do this one chip challenge. You thought you was getting away with something. You you weren't getting away. They're gonna always remember. Okay, period. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna get him to do that one chip challenge. Alex, yes, Alex is my best friend. Alex is my sister. Alex is my right hand, my left hand, my back, my front, all of that. Alex is Alex is forever and always. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Tell, I want to make sure I'm saying this right. It's a lot of, is that an F or no? No, 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 no. No, it's actually three L's. Okay, Tellord. Tellord. Am I saying? Tellord. Tellord. May. Oh, tell. Okay, I see what you tried to do there. Tellord May. Okay, got you. <laughs> what have you been doing when you took the hiatus from YouTube? How, when you took a hiatus from YouTube, and how do it feel to be back? I really missed you all. I miss y'all so. When y'all be telling me that y'all miss me and y'all didn't know that I was back and that just warms my heart. That warms my heart because I didn't think that y'all would like come back in the droves the way y'all been. Y'all been showing your boys some support and I really appreciate it. Um, I didn't really take a hiatus. Like I was still recording. I was doing vlogging. I just wasn't mukbanging. You know, that's what y'all were probably looking for. And I just, I wasn't doing any, um, mukbanging really it was just a lot of vlogging so it really wasn't like a hiatus or anything like that i was still here um how does it feel to be back amazing it feels great because y'all showing me so much love and like you know my fellow youtube buddies my fellow youtube family they all glad that i'm back and showing so much love and all of that i just i really appreciate everybody it makes me feel amazing it makes me feel so amazing I'm not going to eat the last. I'm not going to finish the rest of this, y'all. So I just want to do the rest of these questions because y'all really came through with these questions. 
Um, who's next? Christina Ivy. I know you, boo. I know you. You always in the comments and I live. <laughs> Jaquez, do you have any pets? And also, can we meet your mom when she's ready? I don't have any pets currently. I do um, have plans on getting another pet. I'm just not sure what. I don't know what I want. I know it's something strange. Like, I, I've had dogs and, yeah, just really dogs. And I have some fish and stuff like that. But I want something else. I think I want like a a snake or something. You know? I think that's something that I want as a pet next. Do you have any pets? You must be an animal lover. But yeah, that's that. And my mom, she's not a camera person. She's not a camera person. She does not like to be in front of the camera. So nine times out of 10 of anything, you'll probably hear her voice or you'll probably see a hand or something like that. But other than that, she's not getting on camera. She's made that clear. Y'all don't even understand the times I've asked her in the face that the, the faces that she, boy, who get on camera? I'm not getting on nobody's camera. But my mom is the absolute best. She supports me in all of this, all of this. And she's, she's like my best friend. I'm such a mama's boy. That is my queen. My queen to be. Yes, my queen. Okay, thank you, Christina. Um, next question is from Dwayne Jefferson. Uh, he says, hey, sweetie, I was just wondering when are we going to see your significant other and may I please get a shout out? I am glad you are back. What's up, Dwayne Jefferson? Shout out to you, man. What's up? Um, I don't have a significant other. No. I don't, I don't. I'm just like, like I said, I'm just really, it's about me right now. Like I had plans, like I had plans. when Before I hit my thirties, I was like, listen, I'm gonna be married by the time I'm 35. I'm gonna have a kid. I'm gonna be settled into my career. I'm just gonna be, all of this is just gonna happen. But you know, life does its own thing. And we can just, we, we can say the things that we want and we can speak these things into like, until our heads pop off, we can manifest all of these things, but at the end of the day, life is still going to do what it has to do, you know? And those are the things that I did want, but I'm seeing that, you know, things are kind of shifting in a different direction for me. So, you know, when that time comes, y'all know, y'all, y'all trust, I'm not going to hide that from y'all. I'm not hiding that from y'all. When that time comes, trust and believe you will be there to witness it. <laughs> Um, thank you, Dwayne, and shout out to you. Thank you. Um, Sheena Giddens. What's up, Sheena? When are you going to bring Alex back? Alex can come back whenever Alex wants to. Alex is, don't even have to ask. He could just pop up. He can come back whenever he wants. Um... I'm trying to get this... I I Sanat I Sanat McCullen. I hope I'm not slaughtering your name. I'm really just I'm sorry if I am. It says, Hi Jacquez, I'm so glad you're back. Missed you. What plans do you have for your channel this year? Okay, that's a great question. Now my plan is to to keep the consistency. You know, I do slack sometimes because this, first and foremost, doing this isn't cheap. And that's just keeping it a whole buck. Doing this isn't cheap. Then you want your presentation to always be on point because you want to you want to please your audience and all of that stuff. You don't want them to come here and it's just some half-assed anything, you know? So it's like all of those things tied up into one. And I'm a perfectionist on top of that. So it's like, I just want to almost get things to perfection you know i know it's not going to be perfect but we were trying to get things to perfection and then i also I, I i want to i want to attempt i'm going to try my best to hit 10k um before this year is over with maybe who knows it might go over 10k you know but that's that's the goal i really want to i want to hit that so i want to remain consistent I want to make this channel as professional as I possibly can. And I want to hit 10K by the end of this year. 
if not more. So yeah, that's what I was. Those are my plans for my channel this year. Thank you, Asanat McCullen. Um, is this the last question? Yes, this is the last question. I'm gonna get it about y'all guys. Way I'm gonna get it about y'all way. Okay, so this question comes from Carmelia Holmes. Hey, Jacquez. I love that y'all is all saying my name. It's Jacquez, by the way, because I know a lot of people are probably saying Jacquez, Jacquez, you know, my name has been slaughtered so much through the years that I'm just not even really bothered anymore. It's just like, okay, whatever. <laughs> but it's two syllables, one word, Jacquez. Um, hey, Jacquez, would you want to physically collaborate with other YouTubers in the future? If so, could you name a few? I absolutely would love to um, collab with some, physically collab with some other YouTubers. First and foremost, I would love to collab with my, I know a lot of y'all don't know, but the Mukbang Bowls is like, they are like an extended family of mine on YouTube. And we all have this connection outside of YouTube and all that stuff. Even though I haven't talked to some in, in a little bit of time because of my own personal ventures and, and endeavors and things like that. But we're always family, so I definitely would like to, one of these days, when they have another uh, get-together, whatever the case may be, I would love to be there. Um, who else would I like to do a collab with? I would like to do a collab with... I really... I Dame is like a cool dude to me. Like, he is a whole vibe. Dame is a... Dame Dash, he's a whole vibe. A whole vibe and i just want to try some of his food because <laughs> homie be looking like he be throwing down he throws down and i want some of that butter i had his butter once before but i want some that he made right then and there right in that moment for us to do a video with that's what i want so maybe one day that'll happen and also the queen of seafood bethany miss b love i just first and foremost it's more so than just wanting to just be in her presence but it's just like and, and just like feed off of her knowledge of how this whole thing really can take us to that next level but i need to let her know that she has done things for my life you know she has taken me up out of a situation that was really a dark time for me and you know it's I think a lot of people fail to understand that this mukbang stuff is more than just us sitting on camera and eating food or whatever the case may be. Like, this shit is therapeutic. This is therapy. I am so thankful for you guys for sending your questions. That was absolutely fun. I would like to do that again sometime. Um, maybe we can get a lot more in the next time. But this was perfect, actually, for this video. And this is a very long video. I hope that I'm going to be able to do some things to chop it down some. Because I know that y'all not going to sit here for no 40-something minutes. I just know you're not. I know you're not. Anyway, I have enjoyed this minute. I hope that you enjoyed it with me, you guys. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. I think tomorrow. I believe tomorrow. I believe tomorrow. Um, but if not, definitely on Thursday. Because I do have some business that I have to take care of on Tuesday and Wednesday that is just going to completely just knock everything off course for a minute. But Thursday for sure, Friday, the rest of the week, if so. Um, but I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, share with somebody, hit that notification bell, subscribe. I did it again. Subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified each and every single time I upload and I will catch you guys in the next video. Love ya. Peace and happy Monday. Mm -hmm.